Okay, I'm going to show you how you can tell which model laptop you have. Uh, so if you look in the lower, have your lid open, and then in the lower right-hand corner, you're going to see, you can see here it says T480. Um, so that's the model uh, laptop you have. So the video you're watching here, this is for showing you how to connect the, uh, how to install the docking station with the laptop that's a T480 or a E580. So I'm going to show you in this video how to hook up a hook up two monitors, a laptop, docking station, keyboard and mouse. Okay, so now to put this monitor together, um, so this is the base, and then this is the uh, piece that's going to uh, this part of the mounting the monitor to the base. Um, so on here, this will only go in one way. Um, there's these two tabs right here. You're going to put those. You're going to put those in here first, like like that. And then on the back of it, there's a screw here. So what you'll do is you'll just you just screw that in. Um, so if you have a screwdriver, just go ahead and tighten that up. You can even use a quarter if you don't have a screwdriver, but just um. Just go ahead and tighten that up, then that way this, that's pretty secure right there like that. Okay, and so now we're going to attach the monitor to the uh, monitor stand and arm here. So on the monitor right in the back you're going to see this, you're going to see this slot right here. And then this piece here is going to, is what's going to go in there. So what you want to do is you just want to, um, you want to hold your monitor like this and then just push so that this piece slides right into here and then that should that should lock on and so now you're going to have two monitors so you're going to want to unbox both of them and go ahead and get just the monitors put together um, after that I'll then go over um, the power cable and there's going to be a few different video um, cables and I'm going to show you which ones to use. Okay, now that we got the monitors all unpacked, um, I'm going to go through the cables. Um, each monitor is going to have all these cables and just a little attachment in the back. Um, this is for audio to connect to the monitor, but I'm not going to go over that piece because um, the laptops already have audio. So um, let me show you this. So this will be your this will be your power the power cable. I'll go over these first and then I'll show hooking up. But this is for power. This is a this is called a display port. So if you look on on this, it has an angle on one end. So this kind of cable will only go in in uh, one way. And then this one here, this is called a, a VGA. And so these are always going to be always going to be marked in blue. So blue ones are the VGA cable, and it uh, looks like that. And then the other cable that it's going to come with is called a DVI. And so that's usually going to be that's going to look like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you hook up these cables. Um, I took the base off of this just so that you guys can see, so you can see the connections a little bit better um, on the monitor here. So, what I would do, I would just go ahead and take your power cable, and that only goes in, this only goes in one way. That's going to plug in right here. So, we'll just go ahead and plug that in. That's, uh, that's your power. Okay, and so now using the monitors with the T480 docking station, it's going to use different video connections. So on the back of the monitor, you're going to see there is writing down here. There's um, VGA, DVI, and then one that just says DP, which just stands for Display Port. Um, you're going to go ahead and I'll show you what that connection looks like. Um, okay, right in there. And so you're going to 
this is the cable that you're going to use. Um, it's the cable that has a, there's like one, there's like an angled piece on there, so this will only go in one way. And so we're going to go ahead and connect that. Okay. And so that's how that, that's how that looks when it's connected. And then you're going to go ahead and um, you're going to do that for both your monitors. So both monitors, you're going to go ahead and hook up this display cord. So one other thing, there is a cable organizer that these monitors come with too. Um, there's a little plastic piece here. It looks like um, little two tabs here and this one tab at the top. You can, um, if you want to, you can just um, insert this in the back of the monitor like, like that. And then this is just a clip, so if you want to put the, if you want to tuck the power and video cable like that, you can. Okay, and then let's also take the power from the monitors and let's go ahead and plug those in into your uh, surge protector as well. Let's go ahead and turn on the monitors as well. So right here in the Lower right hand corner there's a power button here, you're just going to push that and it will light up blue there for a second. And then here we're going to go ahead and put the power button on there. And then you're also going to be getting a keyboard and then this will just be a, a USB connected keyboard. And then you'll get a wireless mouse. Then I'll show you really quick on the uh, on the wireless mouse here. In the box you're going to get the mouse, the little receiver piece, and then also don't forget in the box there's the battery is going to be might be tucked away back here. And so what you'll do is on the back of the mouse there's a little uh, door here you just push that tab in to open that and then uh, it just shows the orientation of the battery, so it's just the positive side is going to be in the top. And so it's going to, we're just going to put that in like this. And then we'll go ahead and close, close the door there. And then this is the receiver piece. Um, so this is, this piece will actually go in your laptop. I'll show you that. But on, on your mouse, there is a little switch uh, right down here. This will turn it on. And so when you see the blue light, that's when you, uh, that's when you know this is on. But there's a little on-off switch here, so uh, you want to re uh, remember that. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and leave the mouse turned on. I'm just going to show you um, putting this into the laptop. And then it's on your laptop, you can just plug it into um, any USB port, but um, for this, like, here, this is, I would go ahead and plug this in right here. It's got, a, it only goes one way as well. And so, yeah, you'll just want to just keep that, just keep that piece in your laptop. Okay, um, this is a docking station for a T480, so I'm going to show you how to set this up. This is different than the older docking stations. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you making all the connections on the T480 docking station. So on the back of it, we're going to go ahead and plug in the uh, power for it, and that only goes into one slot, which is right here. So we'll plug that in, and then and then for your power adapter, we'll go ahead and plug that into your power outlet. And now we're going to go ahead and plug in your uh, the cables from your monitors that were the display port so those are going to go 
those are going to go right here. There's two ports that um, they've got a little angle on them right at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and plug one of them in right here. And then we're going to take the second monitor and we're going to go ahead and plug that one in right next to it. And then just so, just so you know, if you ever need to take these off, there's a little arrow here. You just push on that and then those pull out. Okay, so we got power and the video cables. And then for your USB keyboard, you'll just plug that into any of the USB, any of these USB ports here. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and just plug that in right here. Okay, so the last cable is going to be the network cable, and then that port's right here. And so we're just going to plug the network cable in just like that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll take the end of this network cable, and we're going to plug this in to either our uh, home modem, um, or if you have a wireless router with that has additional network ports to plug into, we can plug into that as well. Okay, and so now here's the network cable that's coming from the docking station for our laptop setup, and we're going to go ahead and plug it into our home modem. Um, ours right here is Xfinity home modem. Um, I have a, an available port right here, so I can plug in. I can plug in right here for a network connection. Or if you have a wireless router, um, there's a behind the wireless router. Uh, mine has a couple open available network jacks you can plug in into here if this is going to be closer for your um, setup for your laptop. Okay, so on this T480 docking station, so this is a different kind of docking station the way a laptop is mounted on here. So you're going to want to notice right here on the docking station there is a line right there. Um, let me get a close up of that. That's where you're going to line up the top of your laptop. Line up the laptop with that, with that line that you're going to see there. It's, and then you're just going to push it down a little and you're going to hear a little click. And then push this lever over and then that light will come on. And then if you want to turn, if your laptop is already turned off and you want to turn it on from the docking, you just press, the, there's a little power button here, just press that. And then that'll turn on your laptop. Okay, and then to unlock the uh, laptop from the docking station, you just do it in reverse. You just pull this lever back, and then you can just lift off the laptop. Okay, so now after you turn on your laptop and you've logged in, I'll show you how to make uh, display changes in case they're not showing up right. One other thing I wanted to mention is when you're setting up your, <clears throat> your laptop docking station and monitor setup, you want to make sh you want to put your laptop in a, a position so that if you're going to use the webcam, that you have a position so that if I were to just open it up the lid, um, the webcam is right here on the laptop. So you want to have it in position so in case you're going to do a web meeting, that you have the laptop in this position so that you can it'll be able to view you. And just a side note on the webcam. Uh, some of them have a little switch here, so if it if it's showing red and your webcam doesn't work, if you just pull this to the left, um, that'll enable the the webcam to work. Okay, now that you have your um, laptop all set up and your uh, displays have come up on your monitor monitors, I'm going to show you how to change the settings so that uh, just in case your main monitor ends up being on the right hand side and not the left and then also if if both monitors are displaying um, mirror mode which is like the same thing on each side I'll show you how to make that change as well okay so what you want to do is you just want to right click on the desktop anywhere here on the desktop and click on display settings And then right now, if you see it's only one monitor and it says one and two, if you scroll down, down here where it says multi-displays, 
it says duplicate duplicate these displays so you're going to click that and you're going to want to click on extend these displays and then cl click uh, keep changes and so basically now that'll now that will um, just extend your monitors so over here on the left hand side um, this is extended but now I'm going to show you how to um, get this so that your main display is on the left hand side and not the right so then now on the same on the same display page if you scroll back up to the top here now that we now we see that it shows two monitors and it shows one which is your primary and two which is the extended if I click identify so it's showing this screen is number one and it's showing number two is over on my left hand side and so what you can do then is just physically move the monitors um, so that uh, you have one on the left hand one on the left side and two on the right so basically I'm just going to be shifting this monitor to, the, to this side Okay, so now, now we can see that uh, the main, main monitor is number one on the left hand side and number two is your extended monitor. So now the mouse will scroll from left to right. So when I click identify, you'll, you can now see that number one's here and number two's here. So um, that one's pretty easy to get. You, can, you just have to physically move the monitors. Um, you just want to make sure you're, you're showing number one on the left side and two on the right because um, number one's always going to be your main, main screen.